Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another goal making video. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can utilize your alts, and especially if you have big alt armies, in order to farm a ton of Quartite crystals, which you can use and sell on the auction house. Now, this specific method is very good the more alts you have, because the more alts you have, the more and more and more the gold doubles and triples and everything as you have more characters. But you could, of course, just do this on one character, kind of like how I'm going to be planning on doing. I'm going to be doing everything that I state. However, I'm of course going to be only doing it on one character so it's going to be a pretty baseline number compared if I had 10 or 5 or even 20 characters but we're going to go into exactly how many Quartite crystals you can make per week how you can get them and especially how much gold that's going to be looking like within the next few weeks so when you're watching this video it is basically going to be patch release day and when this video is coming out it's going to be maintenance time for NA so all your NA users I wish you the best of luck for patch 9.1 and also the EU users I hope you have a great time tomorrow with the patch as well but I'm wishing you luck and we're going to get right into the video. So quickly before I start about how to get Quartite crystals some people might be wondering what exactly these Quartite crystals are. So they are a new added crafting reagent inside of Quartia zone with patch 9.1, and you can get these from a various amount of activities inside Corthia. So there's different quests, there's different assaults, there's even a Torghast, there's dailies, treasure chest, everything like that. Basically everything that you do inside of Corthia has a chance of dropping these Corthite crystals. Now the reason why these are determined to be very expensive and the people want them is because they are used for crafting rank 5 and 6 legendaries. Basically, you need 40 of them to craft a vestige of origins, which then you combine with either a rank 1, 2, 3, or 4 legendary, and it boosts up the level by 2. So if you combine this with a rank 4 legendary, it will become a rank 6, and if you combine this with a rank 3, it becomes a rank 5. So that is the reason why we want these Quartite crystals. Because crafters will be needing about 40 of them per legendary that they craft, so a lot of these are going to be necessary. But with that being said, that is just a quick little overview of Quartite Crystals, and we're going to get into exactly how many you can get every single week. Now going into exactly how you're going to get these Quartite Crystals and how many you can obtain per week, it is a range. The reason for this is because some quests have the opportunity to reward one crystal while some require two, and it's strictly just based on RNG and which dailies are up for that day. So this is going to be a range, however the range is going to be guaranteed, and then there's also going to be some RNG factors that we're going to be talking about. But the first way and probably the easiest way to get Quartite Crystals is from your weekly quest. Now the weekly quest, whether that's killing rares, whether that's completing dailies, anything like that, these weekly quests, once you complete them, you will get a chest and upon looting that chest, you will earn one Quartite Crystal. So on every single character, after completing that weekly, you are guaranteed to have one Quartite Crystal from that quest. So that is very easy, that is just something that you have seven days to complete. You just want to make sure that you do, in fact, complete that, and that is very, very good. Another benefit of this weekly quest is that it gives you anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 raw gold just from completing it. So the chest, once you open it and complete the quest, you also get raw gold, and it'll be anywhere between two to 3,000. And of course, you will get some vendor materials, kind of like the callings, how you got vendor materials that you just sold to the vendor and it would give you, you know, 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 gold. So you will also get around 300 gold from vendor items. Now, of course, that's going to be a little bit of a range, but you are expected to make anywhere between 2300 to 3300 raw gold strictly from the weekly quest plus that one Quartite crystal. Moving on, we now have Covenant Assaults, which is going to be basically different assaults throughout the mall, which depending on the Covenant, they have their own location. And you can kind of think of it as like Legion assaults or anything that happened back in Legion and BFA with the different zone assaults. It's kind of like that, but within the mall, and it'll just be a bonus objective and just some objectives and quest lines that you have to do. Now these are on a three and a half day rotation. So that means you will have two of these to complete every single week because three and a half days, multiply that two, you have that seven day weekly event. So. These both reward one Quartite Crystal each, so if you do complete both of them, so you have three and a half days to complete one, then you have three and a half days to complete the other one, you will gain two Quartite Crystals for that week, so now we are up to a total of three. 
Moving on, now we have dailies. Now daily quests are basically just like the weekly quest, however, it is a smaller objective and sometimes the weekly quest is actually to do dailies. So a lot of these things kind of work together and as you complete these smaller objectives, your bigger objectives like the weekly quest might actually complete. So with that being said, the dailies that you are looking for is a little bit of an RNG. Now, from this website that I found, which I will make sure I link below if I can find the link, and I also get this information from Wowhead, but there is a daily that comes up, and it comes up about two times a week, and it gives you one to two Corthite crystals. Now, this daily, I don't exactly know what the terms is. I don't know if you're killing things, completing objectives. I'm not exactly sure. However, if you complete this special daily, which... RNG it comes up about two times a week. You are going to get anywhere between one to two Corthite every time you complete it. So if you do it two times a week, you'll get anywhere between two to four Corthite crystals by just completing this daily. That is where this range kind of comes in because, I mean, you can have this daily show up two times a week, but you can only get two crystals out of it when somebody else has the exact same luck and they make four crystals because they got the higher Corthite out of the luck chance. So depending on how lucky you are, depending on how the dailies are nice to you, but this is going to average anywhere between two to four crystals per week by doing these two dailies. Now just keep in mind that these dailies are a little bit random and sometimes you're going to get a daily and it's going to give you gold, it's going to give you stygia, it's going to give you reputation, and all of these different items. So Corthite crystals are not guaranteed, but on an average about two days a week this might show up, which will then give you those Corthite crystals. The next thing we have is the Torgas Tormentors type of thing. Now, I don't exactly know how much this is, and I don't exactly know how to complete these. However, Wowhead does state that if you complete your first Tormentors of Torgast for the week, you will be rewarded one Corthite Crystals. Now, the other sources, which were a bit older, that when I looked at them, they did not mention anything about the Tormentors Torgast thing. However, the Wowhead article did come out um, last night, when I'm recording this, basically a Sunday night is when they released the article about 9.1, and they did mention that upon the first completion of this Torghast event, each week you will get one Corthite Crystal. So that is kind of still up in the air. I only have that on the Wowhead source, not my other sources. However, with that being said, that adds one more Corthite Crystals for the week, which brings our total anywhere between six to eight Corthite Crystals per week. Now, moving on, we do have treasure chest, and we also do have rift events. Now, rifts are not going to be guaranteed at the start. I'm pretty sure you have to unlock them. Once again, it's kind of like the Torghast thing. I'm not exactly sure. However, once we are able to unlock rifts, you are able to find chest with inside the rifts or from completing the rifts. Sometimes those will be giving one Corthite crystal, depending on which one you open, and also there's a possibility that you will be getting a quest item from that chest, which you can turn in for two more Corthite crystals. So with that being said, within our six to eight range, there's a possibility you can add three more onto that, which brings it to about nine to 11 Corthite crystals. However, I'm going to take that away from the average because that's not guaranteed, and it's also not guaranteed at the start of this patch. So that is the possibility once rifts come out, we will make sure that we start doing those for the Corthite crystals, but the other type of RNG factor that we have is from the treasure chest. Now there are a few on the map that have a very high chance of obtaining Corthite crystals, and at the end of the day, it really is just luck because some chest have like about a 75% chance of opening a Corthite crystal, some have, you know, a 5%. They are very, very different, but the ones on screen are going to be the ones that people have been recommending for Corthite crystals themselves. However, nothing is exactly guaranteed, so from treasure chest, from rifts, you can get a possibility up to five more bonus Corthite crystals per week if you can do the rifts, if you get very lucky, and of course, if you open up all the treasure chests and you get very lucky as well. So, you're guaranteed about six to eight Corthite crystals per week with a possibility of adding five on top of that. And if we want to add that five on top of the average, that's anywhere between 11 to 13 Corthite crystals per week that you can get by simply just doing the dailies, doing the activities inside of Corthia on one character. Now for these averages, I have removed the rifts as well as the treasure chest Corthia crystals. And I also have removed the Torghast Tormentors crystal from the list because that is not 100% guaranteed. It's only showed up on one of my sources. And I want to make sure that my average is lower than normal because 
I would rather have my average data be a little bit lower than what you should be expecting to get than being an overshot and then causing people to, you know, expect more than they should. So with that being said, we are going to take the average about five to seven Corthite crystals a week guaranteed that you will be able to get. So taking that five to seven Corthite crystals per week, we now have to match that to a price. Now, a lot of sources and a lot of gold makers and just other people have been saying that these crystals could be upwards between 10,000 to 20,000 gold at the first two weeks of expansion because people are going to be wanting them and people are just going to be selling them because, you know, gold is gold and 20,000 for completing a simple daily or weekly quest is going to be awesome. But for the low end of this, I have taken the numbers 5k as well as 10k because I feel like that's pretty reasonable and I would say if you do find crystals at the 5k mark, I personally would probably buy them up if you are a crafter, but these are once again on the lower average side because I don't want to overestimate just in case something happens. But at the 5k mark, if you make 7 Corthite crystals a week, so on the high end, then you can guarantee make 35k per week for seven Corthite crystals on one character. Now on the low end with five Corthite crystals a week, you are going to make 25K for those five crystals per week with one character. So with that being said, I mean, if you have two characters, that 35K and that 25K goes up to 70K and 50K. So making 70K per week or 50K per week or anything between for two characters doing their dailies and weeklies on Corthia is a very good amount of money. I mean, with that being said, if you're making 70k a week, in three weeks you will have enough for an NA WoW token. So if you are NA, have two characters, do everything you can on Corthia for three weeks, be very lucky and get the seven Corthite crystals, and you will have 210k, which is going to be plenty enough for a WoW token. Now EU, you will have to make sure that you do a little bit more and probably maybe range that to three characters or in four weeks then you will make more but with that being said 5k per each crystal is going to be very good now if we want to bump that up a bit we can say that corthite crystals are going for 10k each with that being said on the low end with five crystals a week we're going to be making that 50k and with seven corthite crystals a week you're going to be making about that 70k mark so like i said before if you have two characters that is going to bump it up to even 100k to 140k per week by just doing like i said your normal stuff inside of corthia so this is something that you can do insanely easily especially if you love to grind mounts, if you love to grind reputation, all of that, you're going to be doing this already. And if you do these on multiple characters, that gold and everything will just increase by a ton. Now, let's say you do have two characters, because I will say a lot of people probably at the minimum do have two characters. And if not, I mean, that's completely fine. But taking that number, let's say the Corthite crystals are selling for 10,000 gold apiece. That means in four weeks, which is one month span, and doing everything that you can for those two weeks. On the low end, you are going to be making 200K per month by just doing this simply on two characters. Now, if on the high range with seven Corthite Crystals, you are gonna make 280,000 gold with just these simple Corthite Crystals and selling them on the auction house. Now, remember that you are going to get bonus crystals from the treasures as well as the rifts. So there's a possibility you're gonna make anywhere between 11 to 13 Corthite Crystals per week. So if you are able to grab 11 and you are selling them once again for 10K, that is automatically over 100k worth of value in one week on one character. So let's say you are super lucky and you pick up 7 Corthite Crystals on one character, and then on your second character you pick up 11, that means that one week you picked up 18 Corthite Crystals, and once again if they are selling for 10,000 gold, that is 180k per week by just doing these Corthite Crystal farms. And they're really not even farms, they're just completing your dailies, completing your normal task inside of Corthia. So even if you have one character and you don't really plan to do a ton of crafting, let's say you're really into the raw gold, then you can just keep in mind the fact that when you are doing this stuff for either getting your reputation up, doing anything inside of Corthia, you will passively be getting these Corthite crystals on your one character and you'll be getting anywhere between that five to seven Corthite crystals guaranteed a week on just that one character, which is perfectly fine to sustain you with your potions or just another little side income if you do do other gold making. But with that being said, 
guys, that is basically this video. On screen now, I will have a little diagram about like how many characters you have, the price of how much the crystals cost, and how much profit you're looking at per week. Just something that you can take a screenshot of and just think about how many characters you have. You can do the math yourself, everything like that, and this will just be a little bit bonus for you to see how much potential gold you could be making. But people have been saying that at the start of this patch, there's a possibility that these crystals would be going for 25k or even up around like the 20k mark or even maybe 30k so definitely doing this as soon as possible getting your ults into Corthia, getting these weeklies getting these dailies and getting these assaults done are going to be the best way for you to make some free income gold when you're working on your reputation and stuff so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys haven't already, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and please tell me what other things I should talk about or anything that I should do better, and of course, I will address it and try my best to make everybody happy, but with that being said, make sure you also join the Discord down below. That is the easiest way you can contact me, you can DM me, you can ask in the public Discord, and of course, that is where you're going to see all of my announcements about whenever I'm live on Twitch or anything like that, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, have a good day.